Nebraska offers many outstanding natural attractions and welcoming cities, but has been disregarded as a tourist destination for far too long. Even though it's known as Cornhusker State, Nebraska has a lot more to offer than simply corn. Nebraska, a state in the Great Plains, is home to impressive sand cliffs, expansive grasslands, towering rock formations, and thriving metropolises. Lincoln, the state capital, is only one of several must-see destinations in Nebraska. In addition to the iconic Chimney Rock, the sandlands of Nebraska are home to a number of magnificent and unusual landscapes worth seeing. If you plan to visit, be sure and check out at least some of these places. Number 10, Carhenge. Carhenge is a strange monument that can be found in the sand hills. Just north of Alliance, you'll see a strange stacking and arrangement of cars. If the name sounds like Stonehenge, that's because it is set up to look like the famous stone structure in Britain with the same name. Carhenge is made up of only old cars made in the US, but they are all painted gray to make them look more like Stonehenge. If you like modern art, you'll like this strange piece that makes a statement. If you like old cars, you will love how they are used in the monument. Carhenge is worth stopping at even if you're just passing through and want a great photo. Number 9. Buffalo Bill Ranch In the 1800s, the man who became known as Buffalo Bill took a western-themed show around the world. William F. Cody was Buffalo Bill's real name. Cody lived in North Platte, and the place where he lived is now called the Buffalo Bill Ranch Historical Park. Today, you can take a tour of his big house from the 1800s, which is called the Second Empire. You can also look at the huge amount of Buffalo Bill memorabilia, most of which has something to do with his famous Wild West show. On top of everything else, the state park has places to camp, hike, and have a picnic. Number 8. Sand Hill Crane Migration Every year, there is a strange event in the Platte River Valley that draws a lot of people from all over the United States. The migration of sandhill cranes happens in the spring and the fall. Sandhill cranes fly north in the spring and then fly south in the fall. Even though this is a common way for many types of birds to move, what makes this unbelievable is how big it is. More than 80% of all sandhill cranes follow the same path when they migrate. The flyover is an area in Nebraska where birds fly. It goes from Grand Island to Kearney and is 80 miles long. Number 7. Cowboy Trail The Cowboy Trail is in the outback area of the state, which is in the Neobrara River Valley. The Chicago and Northwestern Railway Corridor used to run right where this trail is now. The Rails to Trails pathway is now nearly 200 miles long. It is a center for recreation in the state, and people can hike or ride bikes along the path made of finely crushed gravel and limestone. There are 221 buildings along the trail, which is a lot. The so-called Valentine Bridge is a quarter mile long and makes a great photo background. Number 6. Scott's Bluff National Monument Scott's Bluff, like Chimney Rock, was an important natural landmark for people traveling to the west coast of the United States. The name makes it sound like the landmark is a single bluff but it is actually a group of bluffs that rise sharply from the flat land. There are several trails in the area that let you hike and see the bluffs from different points of view. One of the most popular is the Overlooks Trail, which gives you a great view of North Platte Valley and lets you take in the natural beauty of the area. We aim to bring you the top 10 best places to visit in every state. If you like the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Number 5. Fort Robinson State Park Fort Robinson State Park is in the far northwest of the state. It is a big park where the history and scenery of the Old West come to life. Fort Robinson was used as a military outpost in the late 1800s. Today, it is the best way to see the very rural side of the area. First, leave your car at home and explore the huge park in a horse-drawn carriage, on horseback, or in an open-air four-wheel drive jeep. After spending an hour or two at the Great Trailside Museum, go back outside to see the herds of longhorns or the beautiful herds of buffalo. Number 4. The Archway the Great Platte River Road Archway Monument, which is more commonly called the Archway, is near the city of Kearney. 
The arch itself goes over the busy Interstate 80. It remembers and shows how hard and important the westward expansion was. The archway is a beautiful building on its own, and it also has a museum inside. Start the self-guided audio tour when you enter the archway to become a part of the story. You'll learn about the Mormon Trail and the pioneers who lived along the Oregon Trail. You'll also find out why so many people wanted to get to California. Number 3. Lincoln Lincoln is the state capital and one of the busiest and most interesting places to visit in Nebraska. The Capitol building should be on your list of things to do, and the Art Deco building offers guided tours several times a day. Best of all, people on the tour get to use the observation deck on the 14th floor, which has one of the best views of the city. Lincoln is home to the University of Nebraska, and their sports games are by far the most popular events in the city. On days when the Huskers play football, try as hard as you can to get a ticket so you can watch the game at Memorial Stadium, where more than 80,000 fans gather to cheer on the team. Number 2. Chimney Rock In the 19th century, when people went west through the Great Plains, Chimney Rock was a very important landmark to look out for. The sandstone formation is more than 300 feet tall and is in the North Platte Valley. Chimney Rock was not only an important landmark for travelers heading west, but it was also important to Native Americans and even Mormons. So, Chimney Rock National Historic Site is something you should not miss. Today, the site has a visitor center and museum, and you can get a map that shows the best hiking trails and views all around the bluffs. Number 1. Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium even though zoos aren't usually the most exciting thing to see or do in a state, the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium in Omaha is an exception. This unique 160-acre building has the largest indoor desert, indoor jungle, and nocturnal exhibit in the world. The displays of the aquarium are interesting, and you can touch stingrays as they swim by. Take a ride on a camel if you want to do something really different. The Lozier IMAX 3D Theater is a great place to watch a movie after a long day of walking. The movies shown there change all the time. At Glacier Bay Landing, an area that looks like an Alaskan seaport, you can eat and let your kids play on the lighthouse. And that's all for today. Which of these places would you like to visit next? And if you've already visited some of the places, how was your experience? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.